So we all know that what you tell yourself matters. You know, it's important. But what about when? What about when you tell yourself certain things? Are there certain times that it would be helpful to pay close attention to, to make sure that your self-talk has the biggest impact it can have for your life so that you can go where you want to go and lead the life that you want? Are there certain crucial times that can make the big difference? Well, I think you know what what, what I'm going to say, but let's explore it in today's episode. This is the Enjoy Life Podcast, here to help you choose your mindset, goals, and actions so that you can guide your life in the direction that you want it to go and enjoy it. It does take a little bit of work, some effort on your part, but that effort is worth it because this is your life and you can experience the benefits of the work that you do. And this podcast is here to help. Life doesn't magically turn out exactly how you want. It's up to you to make it happen. Now, you may not have chosen to be exactly where you're at right now in your current situation, but you will choose what you do about it. If you're ready to put forth a little bit of effort, take some small steps toward living the life that you want, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. Welcome to episode 141 of Enjoy Life. I'm glad that you're here and joining in. I'm glad that, that you're listening. You know, I hope that means that, that you're listening and then you're taking action. You're, you're, you're doing some of the things that we talk about here so that you can so that you can be intentional with what you do and where your life goes, so that you can have a life that you enjoy and make the most of it. And that's my sincere hope. That's what, that's what this podcast is here. And so hopefully that's why you're here, to be able to do those things and, uh, and join in. So like I said, I'm thrilled that you're here. Today, today we're talking about, you know, what, if it really matters uh, what we tell ourselves and, and really when we tell ourselves certain things, when that self-talk happens. Uh, as you probably caught from my intro and just, well, the fact that I'm talking about it, uh, I believe yes, yes. But before we dive in, uh, I just want to remind you guys, if you like this podcast, you get some value out of it, if you enjoy it, uh, make sure that you subscribe. You know, that way you won't, you won't miss any episodes. And uh, and also rate and review this podcast. Just give it a quick rating, uh, preferably on the Apple Podcasts. You know, a lot of people use that. But wherever you're listening to this podcast, just give a rating on it, you know, an honest one. Uh, I love a five star, but hey, you know, I really prefer honest. So give me, give it a rating. That way other people can find it and know about it um, and decide if, you know, if it might be able to help them too. And a big thank you for doing that. All right, so on to today's episode. Today we're talking about you know, that, that, that self-talk, what we tell ourselves. Well, first of all, you know, does what we tell ourselves really matter? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, I cannot overstate the yes. Yes, the words we tell ourselves, the the, the, th- the thoughts we have about ourselves, you know, all that stuff, it, it's so important. It's so important. You know, the, your self-talk is crucial to you being your best, to you, you, to you enjoying life, to you oh, really making the most of what you have and where you're at and, and making the most of life in general. You know, being the person that you want to be. You know, you, your self-talk is huge, frankly, uh, because if you tell yourself something enough, if you s- tell yourself the same message or, or, or the, s- the same words enough times, either consciously or unconsciously, if you tell yourself something enough, you'll end up believing it. You'll, and and that's, that, that's the big part is that you end up believing what you tell yourself. So we got to make sure that, that, that what you're telling yourself and, and what you're believing it's helping you to go in the direction that you want uh, to go. You know, over the last few years, you know, I've shared many times about the importance of, of self-talk, about what you tell yourself. So you can go back to nickmazy.com, you know, look up self-talk, you know, or, you know, wherever you listen to this podcast. And there, there's a lot more on that. And it's, it's a great topic. It's so important. Like I said, it cannot be overstated. It's just today, today I want to talk about a, a little part of it that can end up making a big difference too. Today, I want to talk about when. It's the when of your self-talk. What you're telling yourself at certain times, these crucial times that can make such a difference. Yes, your self-talking and what you tell yourself, it's always important. Always. But there are certain times that it can make an even bigger impact on your life. Um, and it can make a bigger impact on what you do uh, and, and how everything's going and how if you're able to enjoy life, how you, how you experience it. There's certain times where I, I think it just it has such an impact that we got to highlight these certain times. So when are these times? You know, well, let's go ahead and get into it. 
You know, the first one, just, just think about it. When you first wake up, you know, when you first wake up in the morning, it's like a brand new slate, it's a brand new day. You know, those things that you tell yourself, you tell yourself, ugh, I can't believe I have to get up. Or, oh man, I don't want to go to work. Or, oh man, I don't want to start moving. Whatever that is, whatever that is, if, if it's not leading you to do what you know you need to do for you and your life and your values and your priorities, if it's not helping you to go in that direction, then it might be time to adjust that a little bit. You know, or are you laying in bed and hitting the snooze button and thinking of all kinds of excuses and reasons why you should be able to lay in bed a little bit longer? Okay. Is that really helping you? you know, to, to live the life that you want. Maybe giving yourself a little pep talk uh, might be a good thing to do here. You know, when you first wake up, you know, a great thing to do is think of something you're grateful for. You know, when you, when you have something that you're grateful for in your mind, then all of a sudden having to get up and get out of bed and, and get doing things, it's not so bad because you might realize that you got a lot of good stuff. It might not be everything that you want, but you got a lot of good stuff. Frankly, you know, if you woke up in the morning, then you got a blessing that not everybody got. And just a simple fact of waking up can be a great thing. And sometimes I got to remind myself of, of the blessings that I have. And I got to tell myself these things and that helps to get me going. Or another thing, when you first wake up, if you remind yourself, you know, and see in your mind's eye, the, the value and the greatness of accomplishing your goal, whatever your goal is, whatever your main goal is for your priorities and the values in your life and the things that are most important, you know, whatever you're waking up, when you're waking up, whatever you got to go do to make those things happen, remind yourself of how amazing that's going to be to be able to accomplish those goals and make that progress that you want. Because then it's like, okay, of course I'm, of course I'm going to get out of bed so that I can get some stretching and some exercise done before I start my day because my health is important to me and my family. So I can be a better dad and a better husband so that I can just be a better person. I need to make sure that I'm stretching and exercising. So, of course, I'm going to get out of bed for that. That's a huge priority. That's the self-talk that has to go through my mind in the morning to help get me out of bed. What can you tell yourself in, when you first wake up to help you to, to get out of bed, to get doing the things that you want to do so that you can guide your life to go where you want it to go? That self-talk when you first wake up is huge. But there's more times. There's more times. Uh, another time might be you know, when you first get to work or you know, if you first get home from work. You know, those two times are huge. You know, making sure that, that you're telling yourself the thing that you need to hear so that you can be your best at where you're going. Like when I'm first getting to work, I don't want to tell myself, oh man, I have to go to work again. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I'm going to start getting down on myself and my work day is going to be miserable if I let that self-talk go through my head. Or I can remind myself that I'm grateful that I have a job. You know, that I'm appreciative. I'm going to do the best that I can. Maybe things aren't exactly as I want them to be, but I know that if I try hard and I do my best, I can improve and I can improve my situation. See, these are things that I got to tell myself when I get to work because my work day is not always perfect. you know. But if I go in with the right mindset and the right self-talk, it's going to be a whole heck of a lot better. And the same thing is true for when I get home from work. When I get home from work, you know, I got to give myself a little pep talk with some self-talk uh, and, and make sure that I'm on track with where I need to be mentally so that I can be the best dad and the best husband that I can be. It's not always easy. and I'm far, from, far from perfect. Oh my gosh, I can't even say myself in that word in the, in, in the same sentence. But the fact is that if I watch what I tell myself, and I, and I tell myself the good, positive things that are going to help me to act how I want to act, oh man, it's a heck of a lot better. Not only do I enjoy my time at home with my family more, but I, I, I'm a better husband and I'm a better father. So when you're doing those transitions, when you're going to like work or getting home or, or going somewhere, you know, making sure that you're telling yourself the things that you need to hear so that you can be the person you want to be at that new place. And uh, Brendan Burchard talks a lot about transitions. He has a, a really neat thing. Uh, it's on um, like setting, like doing a reset and then setting your intentions. Uh, you can look up Brendan Burchard. He's got a great podcast. He does the high performance habits. Uh, I, I love his book. It's got it's a great book. Uh, in fact, I got links to that and, and some other books that have been very helpful for me at nickmazy.com slash books. But he's got he's got a lot of good stuff. And he talks a lot about those transitions. A little bit different than just on self-talk. 
But I think that what you tell yourself, especially during those transitions, can make a huge impact. To know, and these, these next few are just a little bit more specific. So I find is that get a little, I guess, uh, honest or personal or, or something like that. Uh, when I'm struggling to be the parent that I want to be, when I'm struggling to be that parent, you know, because it's tough sometimes. You know, I got a kid screaming at me or throwing something or or arguing with the other one, and 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 it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> You know, to all, to all my parents out there, you know what I'm saying. But when I'm struggling, I really have to watch what I'm telling myself. Like if I'm, if I'm telling myself that this is tough or, or golly, why can't I just get a break? Or man, this, I, I, I don't think I can make it. You know, kind of all that negative stuff, that negative self-talk that just kind of creeps in there. Even if it's not long lasting, it can be so powerful because it comes back and it comes back. You know, if, if this resonates with you at all, then just know that you can choose what you tell yourself. Like I said this is not all, it's not easy. It's not, I was about to say it's not always easy. It's about never easy because it's difficult to switch that when, when, when you're frustrated and you're kind of at your wits end, and you've had about enough. It's really difficult to, to, to change what you're telling yourself. But this is where the huge value comes in. And, you know, the more difficult it is, the, the, the bigger bang you get for your buck when you do it. At least I think. So when I'm struggling to be the parent that I want to be, I got to shift what's going on in my head. I got to be a little funny and tell myself and sometimes tell myself out loud what I need to do so that I can be who I want to be. I can be the dad I want to be. And then, and that's what I, I have to do. I'm telling myself, okay, I can do this. I, I am a good dad and, and I, I love my kids. I love my family. They are worth me doing the absolute best that I can for them. Like I, I got to tell myself certain things like that. And then all of a sudden, just just remind myself that I love them. Man, that, that trumps everything. And then I can get a little specific that, you know, okay, well, my, my girls are, are three. They're just toddlers. They don't know. It's my job to help them to develop into the type of person that I want them to be. You know, to develop into that person with, with character and integrity that's respectful, you know, that, that, that that's 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 powerful because they have intention with what they do like that like that's what i want for them and so when i remind myself of those things all of a sudden okay so i just, I just had a toy thrown at me okay that, that's you know they, they talked back to me they're, they're kids they're gonna do that or they they yelled okay well maybe we should have to go outside where it's a little more okay to yell <laughs> whatever it is when i remind myself of those really important things all of a sudden the frustrations they're just they're just not as powerful they're not. And then also another time where you might think of really watching what you're saying to yourself is if you ever have to do, like have an important conversation or you have to you know, do something very important. That's, that's a kind of a crucial moment. It's identified, you know, it's identified like this is, this is important. You know, you're going in to give a talk or you're, you're going to meet somebody that that's, has some influence or is going to be able to help you out or, or you're going to talk to your boss or it might just be that difficult family member. Um, I don't know. Some of my family listens to this podcast, so we're not going to go into too many details, but it might be, it might be somebody that, you know, it's just going to be a difficult conversation, but because what you're talking about, uh, when it is, where it is, who it is, watch what you tell yourself there. Cause you can give yourself a pep talk. And when I'm talking about a pep talk, I'm not saying making up a whole bunch of fluff. That's not true. Like I am a great speaker. They will do exactly what I want them to do. Like I am perfect i you know no it's not saying like, but you can give you can encourage yourself while being honest and the more honest and like kind of factual you are the more that you, you can actually believe it because it makes sense the the more power this is going to have you know i'm going to do the best that i can do i'm going to be respectful i'm going to listen to them you know and i know that we can work together to be able to make this happen or you know I, i'm going to i'm going to do my absolute best because i've thought about it, what i want to say and i and I'm, I'm going in there with the best mindset and, and we are going to be able to work together. Whatever it is you have to tell yourself to give yourself a little bit of that, that confidence, to give yourself that idea and that knowledge that you can handle the situation the best that you can, that you can bring your best self forward, and that that's all that you can do. And when you talk to yourself like that, man, the actions really start to reflect 
you know, what you're telling yourself. And that's huge because that's where you're really getting intentional. That's where you're really choosing your, your mindset, goals, and actions. Like that's what you're really like saying, I'm going to do this. And you follow through by being the best self that you can be. Man, that is, that is powerful, amazing stuff. It won't fix everything. All of a sudden, life's not going to magically be perfect. But when you choose what you tell yourself and you, and you say things that are going to help you to go in the direction that you want to go, then it does get a heck of a lot better. It, you become more of the person that you want to be. You act how you want to act. And also, you enjoy life more. Because when you know that, that, that you've done your best and that you've followed through on what you wanted, and you're pursuing life, or you're being more of the parent you want to be, or more of the employee that you want to be, or, or, or the spouse, the, the family member, you know, or even just when we're talking about waking up, even if you just got up and you attack the day, you know, you can feel good about that stuff, and that, that really helps you, me enjoy life more, and I think it can help you too, because then you see that congruency between what you want, what you're thinking, and what you're doing. When all that stuff's in line, man, you are a powerful. Powerful person. You are. So pay attention to what you tell yourself, especially pay attention to what you tell yourself during these kind of crucial times, these pivotal times. And use your self talk to your advantage. It can make a difference uh, for you and your life. And, uh, and, and that's what I want. Well, thank you for listening to today's episode. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you again soon. Once again, a big thank you for listening and for joining in today. I know you, you can do anything with your time and you chose to spend it with me on the Enjoy Life podcast. And I, I'm grateful for that. If you did enjoy this episode, please take a moment, do two things. Just subscribe because you don't want to miss any other ones that, that you might enjoy and, and, and review it. Just review the podcast wherever you're listening to the podcast. And you also you also could share it with somebody. If somebody came to mind that you know would you, that this episode would help. Send it to them. Uh, you can you can if you're listening to it on the website, you can just copy the link. You can send them to nickmazy.com. Uh, you, you tell them to search for 141, and that'll bring up uh, this episode's show notes. Or you can take a screenshot while you're on your phone and post it to social media. You know, post it to Instagram. Tag me. My name is at Nick Mazy. And I love to, I love to see that you're listening. I love to hear your feedback and it just really, really encourages me. And I really appreciate that. And now it's time for you to make your life more how you want it to be by choosing your mindset, goals, and actions. Take care.